Hey, welcome to Weed and Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Let's just jump right on in and move into things of God. If you are returning, welcome to you. Praise God. You know what it is. We are consecrating to the Lord. We are being obedient. We are following the spirit of God wherever he takes us. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because we understand that we have a role on this earth. We understand that we have a position. We understand that it's a mission praise God. And we got to be about our father's business. Praise God. Hallelujah. Not all up in, the, in other folks' business, but about our father's business. And that means that we are conducting, we're producing, we're creating, we're building. Hallelujah. We are doing what the Lord has called us to do. I'm so grateful to be here with you today on day 16. This is the end of day. This is our communion time. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is so good, y'all. Hallelujah. I pray that you are able to just consecrate today, that you pray, you meditated, you ate healthy. Hallelujah. That you really focused on the Lord today. Praise God. And I pray that he started to show you some things, start to show you some mysteries. He starts to unfold and uncover things, peel back layers for you. Praise God. I pray, hallelujah, that he's heightening you in the spirit. I I pray, hallelujah, that he's increasing you and elevating you and showing you revelation after revelation from his word, praise God, because he's ever evolving because he's everlasting, hallelujah. I'm just so grateful today to be here with you, fellowshipping over the glorification of the Lord, being able to just lift his name up on high, hallelujah. Jesus Christ is Lord and Lord indeed. Jesus Christ is the Lord I serve, praise God, hallelujah. Praise him, y'all. Jesus Christ, hallelujah, you are beautiful and wonderful. Jesus Christ, hallelujah, you are my pathway. Jesus Christ, hallelujah, you are my heartbeat. Jesus Christ, hallelujah, you are the blood that flows in me, praise God, hallelujah. Jesus Christ, you are in me and I am in you, hallelujah. Jesus Christ, you are my leader, you are my master, you are my Lord. Jesus Christ, hallelujah, you are my salvation, hallelujah. Just praise him, y'all, in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, because he deserves it. Because he deserves it. Hallelujah. And every single word that we call Jesus, he embodies it. That's what he is. Jesus is love. Hallelujah. You are love, Jesus. Hallelujah. He's love. Praise God. He embodies it. Praise God. This is who he is. Hallelujah. And I'm just so grateful to be here with you today to be able to praise the Lord on day 16 and move right along in the things of God. Hallelujah. We were looking at chapter 19, uh, verse 45 and 46. And verse 45 said that Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling. And 46 says, saying to them, it is written, and my house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a, a robber's den, praise God. Hallelujah. And today's message was about being a house of prayer. So we know that when we pray, it's a two-way communication, praise God. We pray, hallelujah, and then we sit and we listen. We don't move out of that space, praise God. We sit and we listen for what the Lord has to say. It's engaging the Lord. It's communication. It's like picking up the phone and talking on the phone to God. Hallelujah. That's what we're doing, praise God. Hallelujah. We're sending our prayers up in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And when we pray, praise God. The Lord inclines his ear to us because we are his children. Hallelujah. I'm just so grateful that God inclines his ear to us, that he's concerned about us. Praise God. When we pray, hallelujah, it is a sweet aroma. Praise God. It's an incense that flows up to the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you anything that is not of God. Praise God. I'm telling you that incense, y'all. If you continue to pray, you become a house of prayer. Hallelujah. When Jesus Christ is stamped on your prayer, you become a house of prayer. And anything that's in you, it has to go. Hallelujah. I'm telling you that light starts shining in those dark places and those crevices and corners. Praise God. It starts lighting it up in the mighty name of Jesus and those creepy crawly things has to go. Some people, hallelujah, have been moving in the wrong direction. They've been leaning on their own understanding. Hallelujah. And believing what the enemy is telling them. Praise God. But I'm telling you right now that when we pray, that when we consecrate, that when we fast, praise God. Hallelujah. And that when we desire in our heart to sit and be at the feet of the Lord, praise God, we're going to receive from God. We're going to receive from the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. That's why we're here in the first place. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, the Lord has given me this mission, praise God, 
to help you get to know God. But in this process, I'm getting to know him too because I don't decree and declare that I know everything about God. Hallelujah. I am here learning, praise God. He's teaching me. The Holy Spirit is my teacher. He's teaching me along the way. I'm just a willing vessel ready to learn. Hallelujah. Anybody who knows me, praise God, they know I like learning. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm a super scholar, praise God. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to learn. Hallelujah. And I love engaging with the Lord, praise God, in that way. Just know what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Because I want to understand my father. I want to understand my Lord and Savior, the one I serve, praise God. Hallelujah. I want to know him in relationship, in intimacy, praise God, when it's just me and him. Hallelujah. And we can just talk, praise God. I want to know him, y'all. Hallelujah. And I pray that you have that desire to want to know him, to want to spend time with him, to want to know those deep things, praise God, that he's not sharing with everybody else because they are seeking him. Hallelujah. Like you're seeking him, like I'm seeking him, praise God. Understand what I'm saying. There are many people who are seeking the Lord like like never before, but there are many people who are playing around. Hallelujah. They say they believe in God, praise God, but then their actions don't even line up. Hallelujah. They say they believe in God, hallelujah, but they're ready to attack you, hallelujah, when things don't go their way. They say they believe in God, praise God, hallelujah, but as soon as they get a chance, they turn their back, praise God, praise God, hallelujah. They're turning their back on God. A lot of people will turn their back on you thinking that they're turning their back on you, but they're turning their back on God, hallelujah, because you're sin. Praise God. You're sent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord will have you to do some things. Praise God. Just this week, the Lord says, sit still. The Lord will have you to do some things. Praise God. Hallelujah. When things rise up, the Lord said, mm -mm, don't do anything. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord will have you to not do anything. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because he wants you to watch. He wants you to see where people are where things are in the world, praise God, hallelujah, so you can be observant instead of just moving and talking and, you know, all over the place, praise God. The Lord wants you to be vigilant. And in being vigilant, you have to be like an eagle. You have to sit and you have to watch. You have to zone in on what God says to pay attention to. And when you don't understand what it is that you're watching, you start engaging God. Ask him to share more information. What is this, Lord? He will tell you, praise God, hallelujah, because he's bringing you forth. He's sent you to examine that place. He sent you to watch. Hallelujah. I'm just sharing these things with you because God is bringing us to a greater place. Hallelujah. And it's not all about just being all over the place. Understand, we're not we're not waving back and forth with the wind, praise God. We're not a storm, hallelujah. We're not a storm, praise God. We're not coming in like a tornado, praise God, hallelujah. We're coming in peace, y'all, hallelujah, because we wear the shoes of peace, praise God. We have on the full armor of God, hallelujah. And the Lord says, love thy neighbor as thyself. We're coming in love, y'all, praise God, hallelujah. But he said, when people don't receive you, understand what I'm saying, a place doesn't receive you, praise God. What do you do? You dust your foot off, praise God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You dust that sandal off, praise God. Hallelujah. You dust that shoe off, praise God. Hallelujah. And some versions of the Bible will tell you to take your blessing with you. Hallelujah. Take your blessing with you, praise God. I'm telling you when you're not received, dust your shoe off. Dust your feet off, praise God. You don't have to engage. Move on. Hallelujah. Because God is so good and I'm so grateful to the Lord that he is constructing us. He is building us. Hallelujah. He is building us warrior style. See, we don't have time to go back and forth with flesh, praise God. The Lord lets us know in the Bible, this beautiful spiritual handbook lets us know, hallelujah, we don't fight against flesh and blood. But it gets wet powers and principalities in high places, praise God. Hallelujah. Some people are so, so used to going back and forth with flesh. Hallelujah. If a principality show up, they don't know what to do. Hallelujah. If a power show up, praise God. Hallelujah. They don't know what to do in the mighty name of Jesus. But they're so used to going back and forth with flesh. And the Lord has already told us and it, it showed us, hallelujah, in this Bible, praise God, it is exposed that we don't fight against, against flesh and blood. Hallelujah. You're never going to win that battle. Why? Because it's a spiritual battle. Praise God. It's not a physical battle. I know people like to get down in the physical, you know, all that. Praise God. Hallelujah. But this is a spiritual battle, y'all. And a spiritual battle takes a house of prayer. A spiritual battle needs a house of prayer. A spiritual battle, hallelujah. I'm telling you, when you get two or more together, praise God, Jesus is in the midst, hallelujah. The Bible tells us when two or more are gathered, praise God, 
he is in the midst. Hallelujah. So when two or more are gathered, praise God, Jesus is in the midst. Guess what? You have two or more temples. Hallelujah. You have two or more houses of prayer, praise God. Hallelujah. Joined together as a force in the mighty name of Jesus, taking down what the enemy has built, taking down, hallelujah, those chains and those bands, just breaking them all over the place in the mighty name of Jesus. The enemy may try to come in, hallelujah, but he's going to go right out, hallelujah, because aren't we, hallelujah, made of fire in the mighty name of Jesus? We have the Holy Spirit in us, praise God. So when we speak, hallelujah, that fire is going to go forth in the mighty name of Jesus, and it's going to burn everything that is not of God, hallelujah, because God purifies in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. I don't know who I'm talking to today, praise God, but the Lord is letting us know that we have to be a house of prayer. We have to let go, hallelujah, let that sweet aroma of prayers go up, hallelujah, so he can receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. That's what he want to smell today in Jesus' mighty name. So when that aroma goes up, hallelujah, as a sweet aroma, praise God, understand the Lord has received your prayers, praise God. These are sincere prayers. These prayers are coming from your heart, hallelujah. These prayers are coming from a place where you are crying out in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is calling us for today to be a house of prayer in Jesus' mighty name. And I pray that you believe it and receive it in Jesus' name because the Lord is calling you for a time like this. He said, get in your rightful place in your rightful position, saint, praise God. Get in your rightful place, brother and sister, hallelujah. Get in your rightful position so you can receive your mission and go forth. And for those of you who are already on the mission, praise God, you are already in the field. You are already laboring, praise God, hallelujah. I pray your strength in the Lord, hallelujah. I pray the Lord will lift you up and continue you, praise God, hallelujah. That the angels will continue to go ahead of you making a way. That they will continue to minister to you, oh Lord God, hallelujah. That you will understand what the Lord is giving you today, praise God, because the Lord is moving, hallelujah, and I'm just so grateful that he's doing it for us in Jesus' mighty name. Believe it and receive it, y'all, hallelujah. We're going to go ahead and go into communion, y'all, praise God. This is day 16, and the Lord is doing a mighty work in us, hallelujah. We're going to go to 1 Corinthians, praise God, hallelujah, chapter 11, verse 23, and it reads, for I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread. And this is the bread, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And when he gave thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. Thank you, Lord. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread and drink the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But a man must examine himself, and in doing so, he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick, and a number sleep. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for communion. We thank you for the fellowship today, oh Lord God. We thank you for the word that just went forth in the mighty name of Jesus, Holy Spirit. We thank you for your presence, oh Lord God. We thank you for what you're doing in the body of Christ. We thank you for increase. We thank you for the rise, hallelujah. We thank you for the mountain that you have placed us on, oh Father God, to work, hallelujah, to carry out your mission, oh Father God. For you say you will glorify you, hallelujah, that you have created us for yourself, hallelujah, and you are cleaning us up, hallelujah, and bringing us back to you, oh Father God. Back to your will, back to your home, hallelujah. Back to the body, oh Lord God, hallelujah. Every single person who does not know Christ, praise God, hallelujah. I'm praying right now that they will be drawn unto your call, oh Father, hallelujah. That when they hear that name, that they will get in line. That when they hear their name, they will come walking towards you, hallelujah. Who called my name? Oh, that was God, hallelujah. And they will just come on into the fold, oh Lord God. We're praying for them right now, oh Father God, that their souls be saved in the mighty name of Jesus. We're praying right now, oh Lord God, that you would touch each and every one of them, Oh, Lord God, where they are, hallelujah, even if they're in a drug house, oh, Lord God, you will touch them right there, oh, Father God, even if they're on the street, Lord God, hallelujah, hustling, Lord God, you will touch them right there, oh, Lord God, even if they're in a home, oh, Lord God, you will touch them right there in the mighty name of Jesus, wherever they are, on the job, oh, Lord God, hallelujah, hallelujah, in the middle of a battle, Lord God, fighting conflict, drama, Lord God, hallelujah, you will touch them right there in the mighty name 
name of Jesus and draw them in, oh Father God. We're praying for your people today in Jesus' mighty name. For you said that we shall be a house, a prayer. Hallelujah. And I'm praying right now that every single person who can hear your voice, oh Lord God, and the sound of your voice, oh Lord God, they will turn and become a house of prayer. They return, hallelujah, into a ball of weeping. They will repent of their sins, oh Father God, coming into your fold, making you their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, hallelujah, hallelujah. And they will begin to stand at their position, hallelujah, doing the will of God in Jesus' mighty name. We pray right now, oh Lord God. Protect us, cover us, oh Lord God, hallelujah. Any words they rise against us, oh Father God, hallelujah, hallelujah. We're asking for you to condemn it, oh Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Contend with those who contend with us, oh Father God, as it is your way, Lord God. For you said vengeance is yours, oh Father God, so we put it all in your hands, oh Lord, hallelujah. For you are a good God and worthy to be praised, and we thank you for your covering and your protection, oh Father God. And we thank you for leading us in all of our ways, Lord God, hallelujah. May your people feel your love today. May they feel your embraces. Today, oh Lord God, hallelujah. May they know that they know that you are their Lord and Savior, oh Lord God. May nothing get in their way, hallelujah, to see you, Lord, to see you, Jesus, to see you as the only choice that they ever has, hallelujah. This is the only choice, praise God, that we could ever make, praise God, hallelujah. This is our life and life more abundantly, praise God. Jesus Christ is our salvation, hallelujah. And we thank you for it in Jesus' mighty name. We bless you, Jesus, hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. We love you. Amen. Hallelujah. I pray that you believe in and receive it, y'all. Praise God. This was Communion Day 16. Let's move right on into day 17. I'll see you tomorrow at 6 a.m. Praise God. Hallelujah. Moving right along, y'all. I'm telling you, the Lord is doing something mighty. Y'all better catch it. Hallelujah. If you've uh, started the fast and kind of dropped off a little bit, just pick up. Praise God. Don't just put, toss it away. We still have some days to go. Pick up, hallelujah. Sometimes things happen and you may slip and not, you know, follow it the way that you feel like you should, praise God. But understand that you're human. Nobody's perfect. We pick up where we left off, praise God, and just keep moving because it's time to consecrate. We don't have time to pause things these days. We don't have time to wait, y'all. There are a lot of battles happening on the battlefield. And as many times that people just keep pausing and stopping and doing this and doing that, I'm telling you, so many people are being absorbed. So many people are being um, um, detoured off their righteous path. Do you understand? Because the enemy is coming in like a flood. The enemy coming to see, you know, who he can devour, praise God. That's just what it is. Who he can kill, steal, and destroy. And if you're not on your post because you're at a pause, or if you're not praying because you're tired and you're sleepy, you know, that that does something to the field, right? Hallelujah. Because, you know, if there's so many people on the field, y'all. There many are called, but a few are chosen. Hallelujah. Are you chosen? Are you willing to be up all night, praise God, hallelujah, plenty of nights, I'm just up, y'all, hallelujah, it's just the truth, praise God, and I just have to keep moving in the things of God, because that's my heart, y'all, that's my desire, praise God, in the mighty name of Jesus, and I pray that it's your desire, because one thing that I know about God, one thing that I know, hallelujah, you just be patient, and you just keep on keeping on, praise God, and watch him show himself through you, in Jesus' mighty name, he will let the world know, praise God, hallelujah, who you are in Jesus mighty name and he'll let them know that you belong to him praise God so just keep on keeping on praise God hallelujah in Jesus mighty name I love you with the love of Christ be blessed in all your ways hallelujah and I'll see you at 6 a.m tomorrow all right y'all peace and blessings